worked in France for three months, in Nice, the south of France. I enjoyed it. Uh, France is not like Montreal. It is, it is very different. Uh, Montreal has uh, is a uniqueness to it. Uh, you can learn French here. Uh, you can speak English. In Nice, I stayed at a five-star hotel. And I went to the concierge and I said, excuse me, do you know where I can get some breakfast? Je ne comprends pas, monsieur. You know what I'm saying! <laughs> You're watching CNN in English. Where's breakfast? <laughs> but don't expect gloomy air from Beauty and the Beast to be there when you get off the plane, be our guest. <laughs> we went to French bistros every night, and I was dying for Italian food. I, I, I love some French food, but uh, too much with... with I, I don't eat seafood. There's a lot of salad. And I was all like omeletted out and, and pum frites. I don't want to say another pum frites. Dying, I'm telling everybody, do you know where there's an Italian restaurant? Do you, I'm dying for Italian food. Nobody said anything. About six weeks into the shoot, we're at a bistro, and I say, I would love Italian food. Somebody that we've been with for six weeks says, well, we're only a 45 minute drive to Italy from here. Why don't we go there? <laughs> Yes, why don't we do that? <laughs> I'll kill you later, because I need directions. <laughs> Get in the car! I'm eating pump freights and went down the street from the motherland! 45-minute drive took me 11 minutes. I could have ran it in 45. An egg and body, she was so naughty. They got a kick out of me in Italy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I speak a little Italian. I can say, feed me, I'm hungry. <laughs> it's sono affamato. I can say it in 27 languages. <laughs> I can write it in hieroglyphics if I have to. If I go back in a time machine, I want to be covered. <laughs> and we went to this little mom and pop restaurant. The waiter's name was Luigi. He was also the owner. In Italy, there's no such thing as an all-you-can-eat buffet. That's just the way it is. And I said, Luigi, sono affumato. Eh, look at you, eh? He's a sono affumato, sono affumato. Giuseppe, come in here. Say it, say it to Giuseppe. Say, say it. Sono affumato. Look at you, eh? You son of a bitch! <laughs> and I said, I'm dying of hunger. It's morta de fame. <laughs> morta de fame. We're gonna feed you. You're gonna explode all over the wall. <laughs> I said, could we order? He said, no. First, we're gonna bring out some food. And that's when I heard the angels. <laughs> oh. I thought it was going to bring out like an antipasto. He brought out antipasto, fried calamari, potato and gnocchi, pollo vodostano, eggplant malanese. And he says, now we come, we take your order. <laughs> You're not scaring me. <laughs> they brought out food for hours. We were fighting amongst ourselves. Stop ordering. And they said, enough. I didn't order this. I didn't order this either. They're just bringing out stuff. Let's get out of here. We had a friend with us, Timmy. He was too skinny. We should have known. He shouldn't have come. Halfway through the meal, he died. And they kept on trying to feed him. They were smacking him. What's the matter? You don't like it? He's dead. Pass that over here. I always eat when I'm sad. <laughs> the, the third hour, you know how when you fool you and buckle your pants a little bit? Well, mine went down around my ankles. <laughs> and they were chasing me with cannolis. 
They were gonna kill me like they killed Timmy. But I 